If it is Friday, you know it is a trend. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm at Larry Mendo. We're coming to you from the very beautiful Kampala Serena Hotel. We've been in Uganda over the past few days, and at 10 p.m., we'll show you all the fun things we have learned. I got chased by a cheetah. I fed a lion. All, all manner of fun things happening here. Okay? All of those coming up a little later. First off, this is what you can expect right now. Queen of Katwe. That is a new Miranair film. It is a very big deal. It stars Lupita Nyong'o and David Oyelo, and it premieres tomorrow right here in Kampala. It opens in Kenya next week. You need to be out there and go and see it. Lupita Nyong'o is expected at that event here, but the real star of the film, by the way, is Madina Nalwanga. She's 16 years old. She was never, she had never acted before this, and she is amazing. So let me bring out my panel right now. The No Pimples, No Wrinkles, Never Had a Bad Hair Day, Cynthia Nyema is with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really? That's all? After that introduction, you're just like, thank you? Really? That's the truth. What else do you want to say? Oh, why don't you tell people I taught you everything you know? Cynthia Yamai taught me everything I know. <laughs> yes, when you're in <laughs> The utterly sensational Jackie Lumbasi is back with us. How are you? Glad. I am so glad to be so here. So awesome well. to see you again. Thanks. Great and to see you again. And even Alex Mohanji is not new to the show. Your second time on the show. Welcome back, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much for having me in Kampala. Ah, anytime, man. You're always welcome. So uh, Alex and I got up to some bad behavior a few days ago, but that we won't talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up well, though. It ended up well, yes. yes. So we're all here, so that's a good so thing. Yes. I have the photos. Uh, <laughs> one does not say. Oh. <laughs> 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 you guys, yeah. Queen of Katwe is premiering this weekend. Everybody's freaking out about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, has anybody had an early preview? Uh, no, I haven't. I have. Oh, yeah. really? And I'm looking forward to the premiere tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've been talking about it, tweeting about it. Yes. Yeah. I love it because it's it's a mix of Kenyan. It has Lupita and then a beautiful story from yes. Uganda. Yeah. Inspiring story. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to the premiere um, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, I know a lot of Kenyans, big names are yes. coming um, from Kenya just for the premiere. No one, ever, it seems like everyone can't wait. It's going to go to Kenya next it's, it's it's actually opening in Kenya next week, yes. yes. But, but, let's, but let's, people guys, can't guys, let's give Uganda credit this time. No. No. <laughs> what do you mean? That's it had a bit yeah, of Look, I can't take everything. <laughs> <laughs> We've taken the Olympics. We've taken the Premier League. We've taken... No, let's give Uganda no, no, credit. No, no, but you guys yeah. stole yeah. our kid, Stephen Kiprotej. Do you remember the last Olympics? <laughs> no, no. The guy who won the marathon. That he fake Ugandan. He trains in Kenya. <laughs> no, his parents live in Kitale. His yeah. parents live in Kitale. That's oh, your hood, yes. right? Oh, no, yeah. No, no, it's because he took his parents there. Yeah, after he had made it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's okay, he's he's doing his, he speaks Luganda, man. He you can well, learn. The only swanky. thing Kenyan about him is that he flies Kenya Airways. Apart from that, he's typically Ugandan. <laughs> Let me tell you this, though, about Queen of Katwe. Yeah. Medina Nalwanga, this 16 year old girl, yeah. who it's her first time acting and she's yes. incredible. She's a yeah. superstar. Yeah. She's an absolute superstar. I, 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 it's a yeah. great opportunity for her. Yeah. And I imagine from here, like she's started way up there. Not many people and you know have what? such a chance. If you look at the publicity of this film, it says Lupita Nyong'o, David Oyelowo, mm. and, and Lu Madina, Madina Nalwanga. Nalwanga. How yeah. amazing is that? Oh, yeah. fabulous, yeah. amazing. It turns no, no, the I kind of talent like... that we have, mm -hmm. that we have in Africa. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. that it's her first time. Um, yeah. It must be intimidating, you know, working right. with stars. Yeah. Yes. Having ca even now, I'm a bit shy with just a few mm -hmm. cameras. But you can imagine, <laughs> mm. she was able to do it, yeah. and you can even when you watch her interview. She's so confident. She is. Um, she is. No, but, so but, but to cut it short, you know, you can. We are, we are good at this movie movies. thing. You know, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> 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 Alex. You know, you guys know this Wakaliwood. We have not <laughs> forgotten <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Wakaliwood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to mention. We are Movies, man. <laughs> Wakali. And then there's Hollywood yeah, acting. Yeah, yeah. Wakali, yeah. <laughs> don't brag. Uganda is there. You know, we got <laughs> lots of actors in there. But the problem is that you guys don't want us to shine. You're like, uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's first use this guy. <laughs> but when Wakaliwood hits the streets, you guys will tell me. Who killed Captain Arik? Yes. <laughs> 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 No, 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 was like, no, even me, I was like, <laughs> is this Uganda? Then you see, it's acted in Uganda and translated yes. into Luganda. Yeah. I'm like, how local does it have to become now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was it inspired Uganda by your story, yeah. Alex? Yeah. No, uh, no, that was not me. I just watched, by the way, I'm like, mm, we got talent in here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Let's so move I mean, on. Generally, as East Africa, we've got talent. Yeah, so absolutely. Uganda, yes. Yeah. yeah. So a dry spell of goals this season seems to have led AFC Leopards players 
um, into something <laughs> quite different. She, she's already They're laughing. I've, I've just started talking about <laughs> AFC Le Leopards players and she's talking about. So there's a bit of a scandal at AFC Leopards because yeah. there's a sex scandal. Yeah. And the fans are upset that they are not scoring goals in the field. Oh, yeah, they yeah. appear to be scoring goals um, almost as if sex is a remedy that hasn't settled well with the supporters. The yeah. team has been dogged by sex scandals and accusations of holding sex orgies with female fans after matches. This has allegedly led to several cases of STD infections to members of the team. Yeah. But what is they are facing as a team, as in the management is footing the treatment bail. Mm -hmm. This past Saturday, however, fans lost their cool after the Leopards lost their cool and charged into the pitch to discipline the players after they lost another match, this time to Western Steamer at Nyao Stadium. Less than the fans had lost, yeah, pana, metuzoea me sasa. Yeah. They crossed into the field, yeah. Cynthia. Passion. No, That's passion. Pa passion. Well, we're all passion. The passion of the players in the field or, 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 or the extracurricular activities. Guys, they should find that one girl and mm -hmm. they react to the girl as a fan. If you have, you, anyone supposed so you think the girl know? went after the players? I know, but Arsenal, yeah. dude. Yeah. And it could be like Gomaya, we said AFC. Why oh. don't you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh -uh. You know, you know, but the point is, as a fan, you have no right to attack the player. It's like. Uh, it's like somebody attacking you at your place of work. Yes. No, you cannot come. If you like me and where I work, you have no right to judge me how I work. <laughs> I'm a Manchester United <laughs> fan. We could have killed Rooney like two years ago when he was good going to go. <laughs> yeah, But we are like, oh, yeah, maybe it's going to go down. The I think he's a national rich. fan. You're very patient but, about this. But they this. love yeah. the game. The, you, you watch it all the time when you, you know, I go for games. You pack yeah. your car a bit far yes. because of the passion. You know, yes. after the games, mm. people will have to throw stones. They yeah. pay for the ticket. So they feel like it's part of that. The game. They, right. You have the answerable. And I, I think when it comes to sports, I yes. think w when you're in sports, you have to learn how to be disciplined. Yes, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. If, if you're not on and off the pitch. On and off the that's pitch. That's what you say about sports. <laughs> and, and that's yeah. the problem I think people are having. And they're thinking then, I think the reason why you people are not winning is because you lack discipline. Um. Those hours and time you spend in the extra activities yeah. should be spent in. A game takes a no, lot of concentration. Your mind has to be in the right place. <laughs> it's all work for the human body. When you train hard, the whole body wants to work. It's That's not like true. you're just going to play so can pass the Is ball it? and then reach home watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> the problem could be they're yes. going with the fans' women. Yeah. Their oh. sisters, their wives and girlfriends. Yeah. Oh. So they're not complaining because it's some strange women. <laughs> Jackie, have you, have you been on stage? Girls. After yeah. stage, do you know how many girls be like, hey. Oh, <laughs> I, I know what happens to you. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't happen to me. Women, people yeah. always say that women don't understand the yes. game. Yeah. 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 Ask mm. them how many players. Uh, like know, but they like don't even know how women know who Wayne Rooney is. Exactly. They don't know who he plays. Exactly. How about they find enough women so there's yeah. no sharing yeah. and oh. yeah, no okay. infection well no, think. but still still it's, it's a, <laughs> oh it's god a, your people it's a bit of a challenge you <laughs> how know? about yeah. this use all their energy in the game and win that's okay. all we want that has point. failed what about <laughs> protection <laughs> protection is a yes. good one yeah. Yeah. so american hip-hop and r&b singer chris brown is uh, performing at the nyali golf club that's in mombasa next week yeah. the tickets are going for ten thousand kenya shillings which is most people's rent VIP yeah. tickets is going for double that, which is basically rent and deposit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As it turns out, everyone can afford a brown jacket, but <laughs> the brown tickets uh, are a totally different uh, conversation. 10,000 bob is equivalent of what? $10? Oh, $1,000. Uh, no, no, no. Is that? Uh, yeah, it's about $100. Yeah, yeah it's about $100. Yes. Yeah, now, yes. if you meet there with your landlord and, and you hadn't paid him, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't finished yet. And then know. Chris Brown has been chochaying, guys, because he put out a message on his Snapchat telling guys it's coming down. Listen to it. Mombasa, I can't wait to come out there, man. Kenya, we turning up October 8th. Make sure you're there. Make sure you're ready. And we're going to party. Thank you. Which people in Mombasa are going to pay 10,000 bob, Jackie, I to go watch Chris, uh, Chris no. Brown? I have a feeling it will be Nairobians. Yeah. Oh, they'll, they'll all go to Mombasa to oh, watch yes. Chris Brown. Oh, yes. yes. Well, well, listen. And some people from Kampala will no, go to Alex, Alex is, yeah. is booking a flight now. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. Honestly, me, I follow Chris Brown. By the people used to say I look like Chris Brown. <laughs> Nobody oh. says that. Oh, they lie there. No. Nobody <laughs> says that. I don't know. But the point is, eh, I follow Chris Brown on all like Instagram, Facebook, mm. Twitter, yes. whatever. Like I watch his videos. I have everything that he has ever done. Everything. Mm. Like I know who he is. Uh -huh. What? is coming with this ticket as in 
cousin. Is Rihanna coming along? No, he's, he's <laughs> the king. <laughs> <he's the in. laughs> no, he's just, no, he's just him. You know, yes. if, if I had the time, I'd probably pay and mm -hmm. go watch. You know why? Mm -hmm. He's And that's one thing sometimes we need to appreciate. He has mm. talent. Yeah. Yes. But what I love, why I'd pay for Chris Brown is, even when you watch him, you can see he spends a lot of time <laughs> Um, working on his skills, exactly. his uh, dancing yes. skills. Okay. Mm. His, even when you listen to his voice, it's yeah. grown, it's improved. So it's True. a whole show. So True. it's a sh it's a proper show, and he's worked so hard on his talent. Yeah. So I think he's worth the. And he's a darling of many people. Love him. No, I think for his music or for his I looks. For his for both. His looks, his dancing, or his ex girlfriend okay, as well. Yeah, listen. Maybe he is worth it. Drama, I'm yeah. not saying he's not. But uh -huh. the thing is, like, you, they should have, like, an average rate on, like, how much you're going to charge people when you come to perform in Africa, <laughs> you know? I think, like... But who's going to mm -hmm. cover the cost? People need to make profits right. when no. they bring him. Good. Let's leave it there for the moment. They yeah. need to make a profit. Listen, I'm going to have to take a break right now. There's plenty more coming up in this hour of the 2020 Talk. It's coming to you live from the Kampala Serena Hotel. people that that 10,000 bob for the Chris Brown ticket is 330,000 shillings in Uganda. Alex. Yeah. Yes, yes. I know Ugandans will not go. They'll be like, mm, mm. Oh, no, I Alex. And they will go. Ugandans. They will go. Oh, yeah. yeah the they first ask, is there a backpass ticket? Is there a... Complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I, I know there will be very many fake tickets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going around, yeah. But people will buy the genuine ones, too. Yeah, and these mm. days, there's Facebook Live. So oh, they want to watch the Yeah, yeah. they like, let me buy the bundle. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. cheaper. <laughs> okay, yeah. so the Tom is the panelist on the show today. They're just on fire. Yeah. We definitely need the energy. So that's a good place to start. Also, yeah. you might have seen a number of posts on our social media pages all through the week. I'm really excited to be taking part in the global Good Morning World campaign. It's we're gearing up for the International Coffee Day. That's tomorrow. So all of you coffee lovers will enjoy this one. Check out our page. The page is called The Trend with Larry Medowo and the Nescafe Facebook page. We have posted a number of really great instru instru instructional videos and they will help you join the global campaign. Every coffee lover in the world will be posting their video online and we want you to join in. That's easy, okay? So Kenyans are never left behind. And to add to that, there are some amazing prizes to give away. I wouldn't be telling you this if there are no prizes. Duh, it is the trend. To add on to that, we've got the regular TTTT panelists to join in the campaign and shoot their videos. It looks kind of like this clip. What do you need to do to win the Nescafe gift hamper? Just make your own video similar to this one, sipping on Nescafe. Let me show you the video first. I want to live for today, sit at the bay like Redding, and let my spirit engage every single second, just the time zone away our time is today. All right, so that's easy, right? You can make that. Yes, you can make that. So go and look at the details on our social media pages, at The Trend Live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, The Trend with Larry Medowo, the Nescafe Facebook page, and you got to win something. Sounds good? Awesome. Now, this guy is um, a regular person we talk about on the show here because um, Shiro and I kind of feel a certain way about him. So, <laughs> since he's already laughing, I've not even started introducing the guest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Ezekiel Mutua, CEO of the Kenya Film Classification Board. As you know, um, he's been bragging about getting a diplomatic passport, getting a visa to the US, which was delivered to him. He didn't have to go and queue up at the embassy. Yeah. And then... The Department of Immigration was like, uh, sorry, guy, you don't qualify for a diplomatic passport, so we're going to need that back. Mm -hmm. Alicia. Mm. Um, it's a coming down it's in a spectacular <laughs> way. Yes, it is. He asked for it. I mean, who, who posts uh, you know, your, your passport? Who posts the visa? Why would No, he wants us to know that he didn't have to go and queue up. It was yes. brought He's to not him. like the rest of us. He's not like the rest of us, yes, yeah. Jackie. Maybe that would make news that he didn't have to go to queue up, but the <laughs> diplomatic passport. It, it wouldn't. Yeah, in Uganda, like, like even border border guys, you know, like... Even those are different passports. Like, it's like, who do you know in there? You know? <laughs> or if you know somebody, you can get a diplomatic yeah, passport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not big. It's like, most of us, the way we got ours is like... <laughs> oh, the way we got ours? It's like, I'm like, even this is not, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, so... <laughs> But but do you think he'll hand it know, over to the He has to. He has yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it will be declared invalid. So the next time he travels to the other side, 
sorry, exactly. sir. Exactly. Yeah. You can't yeah. even travel with it. But I think yeah. the thing that surprised me when I saw even the photos, like, mm -hmm. so how does he go for government meetings? It's, mm -hmm. you know, if, you see, he looks like the guy, if he met, like, someone who's big in government yeah. or from a foreign country, he'd mm -hmm. probably take photos and oh, yeah. tweet a, a little and bit about God. what they talked so about. So here's the secret I to every, ha every <laughs> humble <laughs> brag, yeah. you must thank God. Yeah. Hashtag blessed. He's trying like that. Is there anything like humble brag? Yes, exactly. Because that's what it is. It's a humble brag. Yes. And when you're humble bragging, if you don't thank God, it's not, it's not proper. Mm. Yeah, but, but you know, I just blessed. got myself a Rolex thank God for, thank you for all your prayers. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but, but, but listen, I give him credit, honestly. Who else would he show? You know, now we, we show up on Facebook. We show up on Twitter. You know, you can't tell This is friends. for millennials who were born in the 90s. Yeah. Ezekiel Mutua was born in 1967. Mm. No, you have to live up to the game. You know, today everyone has a Facebook page, a Facebook account. So that's why you have to show up, you know. Some people take their Facebook Somebody should tell us why he was still in possession of that diplomatic passport and yeah. if he wasn't the so if they don't usually follow up if you had a, a diplomatic passport in your previous post they would yes. you're supposed to return it but yeah. immediately you return you're done. It, yeah. just keep quiet and lay low okay. and just enjoy, enjoy. What I found enjoy interesting the benefits. was yes. he, he's worked in the ministry of foreign, foreign affairs, affairs. Yes. so mm. he knows he shouldn't have it or I, I was like oh didn't he know he shouldn't have it and that's mm. why he put it on on social media yes um, because after when he left it, it was supposed to have been he should have returned it yes but to put it there means that the whole time he worked at the ministry he didn't even know the protocol of, of that place yeah. yeah so and he has That's time wrong. I thought guys like him should be busy he has time to mm. take a photo make sure oh, the, the lighting is like <laughs> <laughs> he put the visa yeah. like this <laughs> He the lighting, have put his face the somewhere in the background. <laughs> and then after that, crop, <laughs> <laughs> and then put it. <laughs> That's too much work. Who no has time keep for that? Get all those oh, lights. Give me for the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for effort. For someone his age, that yeah. is a lot of work. All right. So there is so much you can do with a budget of 500 shillings in Kenya. 500,000 shillings. But it all depends on who you are and where you come from. So one, Dagi Owela, he said to have splashed slightly over half a million for his three-year-old son's birthday in oh. Kisumu over the weekend. Yeah. I know a wedding that cost half as much. Yeah. As much as hmm. a big chunk of that money seems to have been spent on Kitenges, isn't half a million for a birthday party of a three-year-old a little on the edge? Cynthia. It had to be Kisumu, it had yeah. to be a Jalua. Right, you know how our people, you know how we are. <laughs> you know how we are. Oh, that is nice. You know? <laughs> Banco <laughs> Tuj. Yeah. Larry, why did, you, why did you bring that here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Larry was just trying to make everyone find oh, out about God. it. But it's not news. <laughs> no, no, but why I think... Because, you, you see, I like, was, in Uganda, I was in London, and others had gone. We're talking about, like, 13 million Uganda shillings, Yes. That's money, it's a Friday. You and spend at the bar. That's in Uganda here. So Uganda. really, to do it for your child, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Alex, I would, your yeah. daughter just turned three years old. Yeah. How much was the the budget for the party? No. Let's talk about it party. later. You know. <laughs> was there a party? The month, Alex. She was supposed to become three by the time the month was going. It came in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to balance. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Alex, Larry, you didn't have a party, and you never spent that money. No, in but that listen, party. no, no, no. Alex no. spent on bundles because. <laughs> I wish I had that day on Twitter. Thank you, and everyone knew. Did you see that? Also, and he had to post her photos on Twitter. Yeah, and people were like, Facebook. Facebook. But mm. honestly, me, I think, I think uh, 5,000 on your chat. I would judge 500, him. 500,000. Yes. 500, 500, 500, yes. Yeah, I would judge him if he did like wedding meetings, you know, like those oh. me birthday meetings, then let's contribute oh, money yes, to the like But contribute. if you have it in your pocket, yeah, do it, man. No, no, no. Yeah. 500 story. is still yeah. a lot of money. 500,000. you spend that much on a birthday for your a kid? Never, ever. Oh, Jackie. Never, Jackie, I ever. Know I'll be honest. You would, Jackie. Oh, Alex, why, why, I would never. Because who am I making the money for anyway? If I had children, I'll open an account for yeah. him, I'm, keep I'm it there. He'll find that. a way yeah. of yeah. using and it when he grows up. You can live life a certain way. So even you work hard so yeah. that when, you have, when you're older, you can throw yourself a bigger parties than yeah, the right. one I'll And then that three year old, did, the, did the, he enjoy the, the party? But the parties are normally for adults. It's not. How do you think living vicariously through your children? Yeah, it's normally for. You call all your friends. Speaking of money, it was all fun and games until Trey Songs posted a photo on his social media pages yeah. with a street kid mm -hmm. whom he claimed to have given that kid fifty dollars <laughs> that is an equivalent of five thousand kenya shillings mm -hmm. yeah. the boy touched his heart with a smile that's mm -hmm. what he said mm -hmm. yeah. but online there was a huge debate mm -hmm. and the, the critics insisted that it was inappropriate you see what Trey songs did yeah. was help 
how he deemed fit, right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, some Kenyans just think it was um, taking advantage of that little boy. What or you maybe you should have done do? more and sponsored him to go to school. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, there's that's, plenty that's of opportunities. That's the best he could do. Mm -hmm. He was yeah, in the street right. walking. He couldn't have asked where do they sell Ugali here. And the child like, yeah, $50. <laughs> <laughs> how about the people he gave the money and were not noticed? These guys who keep saying, yeah, we know where Ugali is. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. how, they have their zone. Yeah, yeah, they, they've <laughs> yes. taken more money. Yes. Let's give him credit. Let's give him, and then also today, when somebody from America gives you fifty dollars, I think for me it's, it's it's enough. We no longer have Angelina Jolie already now. She's I know alone. Angelina; she, they can't yeah. adopt any more African children. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The rest of us are hoping to be adopted. <laughs> 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 Just appreciate that. God will adopt you. Don't worry. It's all on. You love going parents. around saying that. How much money, Larry Mado, let me ask you, you walk on the streets, don't you? Yes. Don't you meet street kids? Yes. How much money have you given them? Not 5,000. Mm. Mm. See? <laughs> 5,000 was a lot, but that's that what, mm. for him, as you said, he yeah. gave yeah. that fit. That's what yeah. he could have done at that point yeah. in time, and it or made him happy. that's how much he had. They used credit cards. This exactly. guy don't even walk around yeah. with cash. And then also, the, the thing that impressed me about yeah. him, and I don't know why people just wanted mm. to talk about him giving money mm -hmm. but he took time to walk on the streets I know. streets find yeah. out more about you know yeah. the country that's what i like and he was wearing a well. kenyan jersey a football exactly. jersey so he wanted to, he was trying to be a part of you know of, of kenyans learn the culture yeah. mm. a lot of them what, when they come in what they want to do is <coughs> go to masai mara yeah. mm. take photos with the lions and, exactly. and, and even when they take God. photos they want to take them somewhere in the slums and okay. show people poverty like, tourism exactly mm. all right mm. yeah. let's leave it there for the moment by the way this kid if somebody else gives him 5k, he can go for the Chris Brown concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can start a business. I'll make yeah. a <laughs> We're going to come back to yeah. the final part of the Trend Trending Talkers live from the Kampala Serena Hotel. <laughs> Aziz Salim uh, and Larry got some uh, madharao. At cost people have money, but don't foolishly waste it like that 500,000 shillings bash. <laughs> <laughs> Coins make more noise. Oh, man. Ouch. Aziz. Nyenye kia mongo pitumye. Ouch. Um, Joseph Wataka. Jesus was humble and no one paid to f for him to be seen. Mambo ya Chris Brown ni bure. Yote ni vanity juu haja okoka. He's not saved, so all is vanity. Yo yo watu wataenda. Sami Mutinda. Yeah. Uh, Chris Brown should at least have sponsored that kid rather than giving that money. Uh, mm. People have Trey songs. Yeah. Trey, Trey songs, songs right? yes, yeah. yes. Sorry, Trey songs. Yeah. Mm. Um, Rob Murillo But then you know, <laughs> we don't know what discussions they had. One. Maybe the even took the boys to Tahando. Af 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 Africans always want white people to sponsor them. Why? Mm. All right. Mombasa ni fa. Alafu yo pesa ni mob. Eri ni by TV na hiyo pesa ni one Chris Brown kwa TV. Probably that's why the music industry in Kenya is not as strong as as it should be because mm. people wouldn't go out and pay for artists. Yeah, yeah. that's how they the yeah. 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 They'd rather burn the CD and listen to exactly. it. Exactly. So or point. buy bundle and watch that on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I wanted to remind you real quick how you can win some great prizes from Nescafe. Just post a video of yourself in the Good Morning World Challenge. You can post it on our Facebook page, The Trend with Larry Medowo, or on the Nescafe page. And uh, we're sitting on some Nescafe here while. Can we send in this video? Can you send in this oh. video? Oh, oh yeah. Right. Uh, uh, give a close up of Cynthia. If she does it well, maybe you can send her that video. I think we should send this video and see if I'll win. Sipping. What camera? I think you're on that camera. Yes. Which camera? This one? Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay, good. <laughs> Fantastic. You're a good actress, Cynthia. Well done. <laughs> Let, me <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys about Cyrus Kaguda. He's pleaded guilty today to throwing a sack of rotten fruits on the road when Governor Ivan Skidero was trying to address traders. Mm, and he, so oh, that is a crime. Oh, well, yes. he okay. threw the, the sack of rotten fruits in front of the governor, mm. but the crime is littering, not... I'm yes, sure he not, used not that, that as act. a sign of protest, but yes. the crime is littering, which city bylaws don't, don't, don't allow. So I wish he had said it happened accidentally. Is that an, can you say that in court? Like, can you defend yourself that it happened accidentally? Yeah, yeah. 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 he's a possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and especially if it's lawyer. like a mango. <laughs> yes. When it's but spoiled, it can yes. slip off your hand. Like <laughs> uh, in a whole sack? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was heavy. Uh, <laughs> a whole sack. You should say that. But then you're saying he's on up. He's yes, saying, yes. Yeah. So if he pleaded guilty, which is, which is sad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you guys though, in Kenya there's a popular phrase associated with lost and found money or yeah. other forms of valuables, yeah. and that is, Chakokota si chakuiba. If you if you picked it up on the street, it's not you didn't steal it. This wow. phrase, as it turns out, is only limited to the greedy. An Ethiopian Airlines cabin crew member, she's called Rosa Shiferao, yeah. 
She safely returned $10,000 to a passenger yeah. who had misplaced an envelope containing the money. This is totally the opposite of what almost everyone could have done in that mm. situation. Yeah. She made the news because she returned, that, that's the equivalent of what, one million Kenya million, shillings? Yeah. Yeah. I know how deeply this story hurts many mm -hmm. fellow Africans out there, mostly what were bet. I can imagine <laughs> that budget. You know, that's two Pro Box cars. <laughs> And they're wondering what was wrong. $10,000 is a lot of money. And many people who travel, by the way, are going to look for money. Mm -hmm. That's number one. There's a guy in my church, mm -hmm. in my local church where I was born. Mm -hmm. uh, he had always prayed to have a bicycle. So one day he came and found a bicycle parked outside the church. <laughs> <laughs> and he rode it and, and went home and said, Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 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 and and all bicycle. of the bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> the one of the bicycles came out of the church. The bicycle was not there. So they told him, But there's a man who mm. took it. So when he came back next time, the, the pastor said, No, let him keep the no. bicycle. Even you who brought it, you brought it to the house of God. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> God will give you a, a car now, he not a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it really. If you pick money, you have pick. This is why we don't mm. have Uganda Airlines. This is the things. <laughs> why? Mm. Where's this? These are the things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was her blessing. Yeah, yeah. Next and yeah. she rejected it's it's it it's just like that. I can't yes. wait. Mm. I imagine mm. if... Wait, wait, Jackie. Wait, Jackie. What did you get? That was her blessing. I will know it. No, no, no. That again. That was yeah. deliberate. Yeah. Yeah. It was her blessing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Then she rejected it. Just <laughs> like that. God has decided to bless her through that man. Yes. The yeah. unknown person. Yes. Then she questions yeah. God. She questions her blessing. And then you patter, maybe she was given an Anakuma voucher for 5,000 shillings <laughs> no. to thank her. I'm telling She'll you. She'll never make such money. <laughs> yeah. on Twitter it's not even Facebook. enough to go to a Chris Brown concert. Uh, no. Hey, man. You don't do yeah, that. She's you alone. Don't. But mm. it must have done a lot for mm. the airline. Yeah. yeah. And even the country. Publicity. You sort of feel like, oh, their culture is, is like an that, honest, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And and yeah. the airline is. In, in fact, for me, I didn't think more about. Her. I actually thought more about oh, the, the airline. airline yes. 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 Uh, me, I thought about her because she would make a nice wife. That one, you'd move, <laughs> you know, these changes <laughs> that we leave in the pockets at home. Yes. <laughs> and when they are really washing, point. there is nothing. Uh, we saw nothing. We <laughs> 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 didn't see nothing. So she would be a nice one to say, <laughs> oh, yeah. "Honey, you, you have left? two coins in your pocket." I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah." I knew honey, about it. you don't look like Chris. Brown. I know. <laughs> 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 no, she would tell that truth as well. <laughs> 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 okay. So, three former Nyeri County executives John Minor, yeah. he was in charge of land and infrastructure, Martin Wamoya, who was in charge of finance and planning, and Chief of Staff Simon Washira were on Monday sentenced to three years in jail. Apparently, they failed to comply with procurement laws and funds management procedures. Did the war on corruption just get real, or is this just the usual system of frying small fish? Cynthia? They're, uh, they're county ministers, so they're not small people in that sense. You know, a, a lot. Of, it's a it's a good thing, but a lot of people think of we have, we've had more serious um, cases. Yes. Mm. Uh, we haven't seen anyone been arrested, yeah. so that's why a lot of times people still don't have confidence, um, you know, behind that kind of operation because mm. they're thinking, how come it doesn't happen? to everyone else. And then, they, yeah. for a lot of people, they'll probably think, <laughs> what is the politics behind that story? Yes. Yeah. There's politics, there's elections coming up, so. No, yeah. usually it's, it's because someone eats alone. <laughs> 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 like, like the Mexican movies. Small <laughs> fish as <laughs> well. <laughs> if you eat alone, then the others are going to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the Mex Mexican movies, the, the dealer like, eats, you oh. eat, the guy, the, 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 the <laughs> boss, the, the prisoner ward eats. Uh, so <laughs> everyone the, everywhere eats. Police, they go, <laughs> they're like, oh, that one. You've been uh, watching uh, too much narcos. That one, yeah. <laughs> Telemundo. <laughs> oh, Telemundo. Yeah. So, but the, you see the thing, Jackie, like, I think mm. this week there's a story about a, a very lowly official, I think it was McQueen County, mm -hmm. yes. was arrested for accepting a bribe of about 4,600 yeah. shillings. But the people that steal hundreds of millions of shillings, yeah. those ones... Go scot-free. They're, they're never they're caught. They never but pay for their sins. Yeah. Yeah. But if someone does for you a service, and you really, like, like sometimes you, let, I'll give an example of, of, of someone, like the traffic policeman. Yes. Like sometimes it's raining on them, or sometimes mm. if the sunshine is too, it's hidden, I'm walking, I'm reaching my pocket, like the month has just yeah. ended. Yeah. I can mm -hmm. give you something. That's not, mm -hmm. I don't really think it's bribing. It's, yeah. If you give no, me a service and I feel like, let so me. So you're appreciating. Yeah, that kind of appreciation. Yeah. That's an interesting way of looking case. at it. There's a thin line. There's yeah. a thin line there. Yeah. All right. I need to get to <laughs> two stories real quick. One is there's a proposal now to have Kenyans pay to use highways, basically tolls, but people are not very excited about that. Here's an ex explanation why they want you to pay to use some major highways in Kenya. You could go to the cabinet, from the cabinet probably will discuss in parliament so that they can approve the tariff. So we will be involving the public. 
Do you, do you think this might work? Because trolls exist in other countries. Mm. South Africans re rejected it in Joburg, but they eventually had to accept mm. it. In many other countries around the world, you have to pay a toll to use some major highways. Definitely. Like in your Kenyans, just like, no, we're like cheapskates. We're paying tax. Yeah. Oh. We're told, and I we're paying a remember the tolls we used to have, like, yes. the, the, you were there in Kenya. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you find queues there. Yeah. You've already paid tax. So that, yeah. You're not about that. Much. Jackie? Unless, no. unless, unless they kill no. panya roads and side roads. No. Oh. But we're going to avoid the highways. Mm -hmm. This is what I think. If you want me to pay for a road that yeah. I'm going to drive through, th th there, there better be no <laughs> pothole in there. <laughs> Good the, point. The, and, and also, if I meet a pothole, shouldn't you pay me back? For the damage yeah. to your car. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 That is the nice way of looking yeah. at it. Yeah, so I really don't get it. Oh, to make sure there's no traffic. Mm. As in, like, there has good to be. Good point. Yeah. The traffic here, yeah. So this has not been a very good week for Ezekiel Mutua mm -hmm. and for Donald Trump, as far as ego is concerned. During the Monday night presidential debate that was, that was moderated by Lester Holt and heckled by Donald Trump, Trump, <laughs> <laughs> Democratic Party candidate Hillary Clinton trumped the Donald in what has been described as the most watched presidential debate in American history. Yeah. Interestingly, Donald Trump was the most talked about. And his major points in the discussion were his sniffles, yeah. which went viral. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the debate? What did you think? I, you, you could clearly see Trump hadn't uh, prepared yes. for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, but I could tell uh, Clinton was... We're going to win in November. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be <laughs> huge. <laughs> the, the mistake, the, 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 whoever was in charge of uh, you know, like the camera or yes. whatever, the producers, they didn't show us what was like, where his podium was, like down there, because he kept sniffing. <laughs> 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 I really imagine there could have been something there that, and you see, podiums, why are podiums, why can't the podium look like this? This low, so you can see what somebody is. Oh, he kept sniffing, and he would do it, he said, Donald, Donald, my brother, what are you sniffing? But you know, probably because he knew he hadn't yeah. prepared, he didn't have the answers, he yeah. just wanted to have something people will talk oh, about. Oh, he was distractors. Yeah. So that's, and that's what people really talked about. So he, yeah. he yeah. got what he wanted. Okay, Jackie, last one. And as Hillary watch. said, she, you could tell she was prepared for the yeah. debate. Oh, she was. She is obviously prepared for the presidency. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So you're saying with the, you're with her. Oh, mm. okay. without a doubt. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank Cynthia, you for Jackie, us. Alex, you've Thanks been absolutely amazing. When we come back to Kampala, you, you come back? Please come yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Cynthia has made a home here, obviously. She's not I coming love back. Kampala. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. Okay, fantastic. Listen, at 10 p.m., huge superstar Maurice Kiri is going to be here performing live also. Mm. Dr. Misha Guang, people think Misha and I look alike. Yeah, you do, by Come way. on. Exactly. You mean the same way you and Chris Brown look alike? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, it's even the skin tone. And <laughs> you guys look. <laughs> One of Uganda's best DJs, uh, DJ Krim, is yeah. going to be here. And two of Uganda's best dancers. And Miss Tourism Uganda is happening tonight, so we're going to be mm. showing you some of the Uganda's beauties. It's amazing. Yeah. See you at 10 p.m.